Welcome to City Issues, a series of discussions with Mayor Randy McClement and key city staff designed to provide useful information on a variety of city topics and answer some common questions. I'm Patty Mullins, and this is City Issues. with Mayor Randy McClendon. He deserves at least one hot lunch a day, or hot meal a day. Um, and since this may be their only meal of the day, we make it a hot lunch, so we're kind of here. Good morning. Summer may seem like a relaxing, stress, and carefree breeze for most of us, but have you considered the thousands of local children who might be going hungry? They qualify for free and reduced price meals at public schools and don't have those meals when vacations come around. Thanks to a collaboration among the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Maryland State Department of Education, and the Frederick Community Action Agency, the Summer Food Service Program helps feed those families when school is out. Mayor Randy McClement and I are here with Sarah McLevy, Supervisor of Food and Shelter Services for the Frederick Community Action Agency to tell us about what the Summer Food Program does and what it needs. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you taking your time out of your busy day to come here. Absolutely, but anytime. You're here to talk about an important program. Um, a lot of people may or may not know that you know, there is uh, a ability for students during the school year to um, get a free and reduced meal but that kind of goes away in the summer. So uh, we have this great program um, that offers that. So tell us a little bit about that program and what it, how it works. We call it the Summer Food Service Program here in Frederick County. And we are currently at, we have 10 open sites and that means anybody in the county can come. We don't ask any questions. We don't ask any information on them. Uh, it's open to the public. We will feed children 18 and younger, and any adult that brings those children free of charge uh, from the last day of school to the first day of school, Monday through Friday. So we're at 10 open parks, and then we have partnered this year with Parks and Recs here in the city of Frederick, and we will be going out to their summer campsites and feeding the children there. And we finally got Frederick County Schools to also open sites this summer, and they are gonna have seven open sites and they're gonna do breakfast and lunch, which is amazing. That's really kind of our goal is to get as many children fed uh, throughout the summer as we can. So um, we will be handing out this really colorful flyer. We're printing it in all different colors. Uh, English on the front, Spanish on the back. And it will list all of our open sites uh, we will not be listing the enrolled sites through Parks and Recs because they advertise that themselves. So we just want people to know where they can go no matter who they are. So we have people who come from all over the county to some of these sites. They just happen, you know, to be down in Frederick. It's fun. You get to go to a park, you know, take your children to a park and they get to play outside. So not only are they getting a healthy meal, but they're getting some exercise and, and some playtime. And... Are all of the sites in the city? No, we actually have uh, two locations in the county, one in Brunswick and one in Walkersville. Um, we did start in the city of Frederick and we have expanded. We did try to go north uh, to Thurmont Emmitsburg, but we found there are already similar programs being done up there. The Senior Center in Thurmont um, offers a free lunch to children. We are only allowed to go to a neighborhood where more than 50% of the children receive free or reduced school lunch. So we're very limited. Um, in where we can be serving lunches. Um, so in those areas, you really, there's pockets of poverty, but not large scale, um, or it's widespread, not, not localized, where you can actually get people there. And um, it's a little harder for them to walk to the parks or whatever if their parents are working, so. I've had the opportunity to go out to a couple of these through the years, and um, I, what I find interesting as well is you know you, you have the, the youth there um, and you have the parents that come along you know and the parents are extremely grateful for 
the services that are being provided. Um, so that's a great positive. Um, but I'm always interested to know and to see what, do, what are we feeding the children when we get there? What kind of foods are we giving them? Well, it, it basically we have to follow Maryland State Department of Education and USDA guidelines for school lunch, which is very tough, um, especially since uh, I am a mom and I'm a firm believer that everybody deserves at least one hot lunch a day or hot meal a day. Um, and since this may be their only meal of the day, we make it a hot lunch. So we're, we're kind of a little more limited. Um, so we do turkey dogs, um, chicken nuggets, chicken patty sandwiches, um, burritos. So it, there's a wide array of different things. We also have to serve a fruit and a vegetable and milk. So, so you have your grain, your protein, your fruit, your vegetable, and your dairy. Um, and um, one of the things that we have tried last summer was to try different vegetables and just kind of have them taste it. It's not necessarily the vegetable of the day, but maybe take out like sugar snap peas that maybe children have never tried before um, and, and see if they like them. And then they can go home and you know, maybe try a vegetable at home. As we know, that's a hard task for, for children is to get them to eat their vegetables. So. And, and that's one of the reasons I asked what, you know, what kind of food is because I, every place that I've been, there's been a little bit of different food and the kids just seem to love it. You know, I mean, they, um, milk is a big thing I noticed, you know, but uh, you know, it, it, you know, you talk about a turkey dog to them, it's a hot dog. You know? Exactly. And, and they love that, you know, the, the burritos, I think it was there one time for burritos and they were just like thrilled, you know. So uh, that's the best part is, to me, is it, you know you're do, we're doing a good thing. We're making sure those, they have that meal. But um, the kids are coming and, and, and they're having a good time and they're getting a good meal and, and that's just perfect. Well, and that's, that's a big part of it. Yes, I could serve a chef salad, but kids aren't going to eat that. Right. So we really have to find um, a happy medium between healthy and what they're going to eat um, because we want them to eat it. We want their bellies full um, you know, every day. Right. So we want them to come out, we want them to participate. That's another reason we um, are one of the few counties that feed adults and don't charge them is because it's also important for families to eat together. Um, that's when you learn the most about your children, I find out, is that mealtime. Right. And so we want them to be able to sit down and, and have that meal with their children um, and not feel ostracized. You know, you can't eat because you're an adult. Um, and, you know, a lot of counties in Maryland do that because it's expensive. It's not, you know, uh, we only get reimbursed for the children's lunches. So, and it's not a lot. You know, it's not going to cover us for the whole summer. So, you know, you have to be very frugal, you know, where you can. Right. But, but that's not one place we want to be frugal. And how does the funding happen? So we are reimbursed through Maryland State Department of Education. It is an entitlement program, so it's not a grant. So there's no cap, basically, on how, much, uh, how many lunches we can serve. We could serve five lunches or we could serve 500,000 lunches. Um, we would get reimbursed. This year, I believe our reimbursement rate is $3.82 a lunch, which covers the food. It doesn't cover staffing, really, um, and transportation and all the other things that go into uh, making that meal. So. so where does the food come from? We purchase it um, just to keep uniformity. I right. know a lot of people are like, oh, can we donate? You know, Well, if you can donate 700 fruit cups, that would be great, um, since that's what we're serving a day right now. But, um, but we need that uniformity, so it's really hard to take uh, actual food donations for this program. Um, I do know one year Chick-fil-A actually donated chicken sandwiches uh, for two days in wow. the summertime. So, yeah, so there's, there's some amazing partners out there. Um, but financial donations are always welcome, of course, you know, and that would help cover the costs of the summer lunch program. That's great. Can you use volunteers? We have had volunteers come out um, to do different things. We staff the parks with at least two employees because they have to be specially trained and all of that. Um, but our volunteers that come out play games with the children, read books to them, um, just different things. We've had the police come out and do different things with the children. Um, they come out and they help us clean the parks up after the kids leave, you know, because even though we encourage the children to clean before they leave. That's not always the case. Um, but they, you know, we've had Girl Scout uh, adults come out and do projects with them and arts and crafts and just little things. So yes, we can use volunteers in those capacities. 
Um, I know Dollar General sent out all their store managers last year um, to help serve lunch. Now, if people did want to make a donation, how do they do that? A they, financial donation, that is? Sure. They can either mail it to the Frederick Community Action Agency, drop it by, or um, on our nonprofit website, uh, friendsfnp.org, there's a donate button. It goes right to PayPal. So, but just make sure you designate it for the summer lunch program. This is my favorite program um, that, I, that I am in charge of, so um, it has a special place in my heart when it comes to children. Good. Well, thank you very much for all you do. I know, like you said, this is one of your favorite programs, and I know you're very enthusiastic about it, um, and we appreciate it because it, it shows in the, in the program itself. So thank you for all your hard work and, and making sure that through the summer, our kids and, and youth are getting at least one hot meal a day. Especially this extended summer this year, so. Yeah, that'll right. be interesting. That's right. I forgot about that. So, yeah. Yeah. More, lunches. More lunches. More lunches. Yes. More donations. Come on. That's right. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how that works out for us.